TJ with Avidyne. In the following brief video, I'm going to be walking you guys through setting up uh, a Windows 10 machine to communicate with a Skytrax 100B or 200. So we're going to start off by downloading drivers. Now, like I mentioned, this is a Windows 10 machine. So right here from our knowledge base article, we've got the 1226 file we're going to download for Windows 10. So I'm going to download this guy. I'm just going to throw it on my desktop. Save it there. There it is on my desktop. So now I'm going to right click on this thing and I'm going to say extract all. And I'm going to put that folder on my desktop here as well so you guys can see it. There it is. Double click on this. You do have to have uh, administrative privileges on your computer, so keep that in mind. You might have to contact your IT folks. Um, pay, pay close attention here. It says FTDI CDN drivers. That's what we're going to be looking for um, to make this thing work right. So go ahead and extract that. Hit next. Accept the agreement. Finish, and it says they're ready to use. <clears throat> now, there's, there's some tricks here. Uh, in Windows 10, we've got to go set up our COM port. So, Go down here and punch in device manager and open this guy up. Now, you may already have COM ports configured on your Windows 10 machine. I currently don't because I wanted to walk you guys through this process as well. <clears throat> Notice there are no, no COM ports here. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up here to action. I'm going to go add legacy hardware. I'm going to hit next. Now I'm going to install the hardware that I manually select from a list. Hit next. And now I'm going to scroll down here to ports and find my COM and LPT ports. I'm going to hit next. Standard port type. Good to go. Hit next. Hit next. And finish. And now I've got COM ports showing up as COM3. Um, so here, here's the next piece to this, though. I'm going to go in here and right click on my COM port. I'm going to hit Properties. Now, if I see here that I've got COM3, all right, there's all my information. Now I want to go in and update my driver. And browse for drivers on your computer. And then we're going to go down here to let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Click on this guy. Now you see here all that's showing up is Microsoft Communications ports. So I've got to uncheck this Show Compatible Hardware. And now I can go down here to my FTDI driver. That's the one I want right there. Go ahead and hit Next. It's going to tell me, um, you know, it's not recommended because Windows doesn't know what this is. Tell it you want to do it anyway. and it shows as FTDI. It will give you an error message sometimes um, because Windows just it doesn't see that as a Microsoft driver so it doesn't want to do it. But basically when you go into your your COM port settings, when you go to the driver, if it's showing that the driver is provided by FTDI, you're good to go. That's what we needed. Okay? We need to even go to driver details and it shows us where it pulled it from. But that's, that's the least important part. The most important part is making sure that the driver provider is listed here as FTDI. Okay? So now, if I close out of that and I go back in here to Properties, it should show me manufacturer of this driver is FTDI. Now I should be good to go. Now I can go ahead and run PuTTY and set, it, set this up. Um, one last little piece. The port settings are going to default to 9600 baud rate. For the Skytrax units, the Skytrax 100Bs and the 200s, it needs to be 115-200. So go ahead and change that uh, in the bits per second category right there. And now you should be good to go to go ahead and open PuTTY and, and get this thing up and running. Uh, we'll do another brief video uh, showing and, and explaining how that works as well.